Hello all, welcome to Learn Easy. In the previous video, we have already discussed void ratio concept in volumetric relationships. So now we move on to the next one that is porosity. Porosity is nothing but ratio of volume of voids to total volume. And it is represented with the letter N. So now N is equal to volume of voids by total volume. So it means it is the ratio of volume of the region under this rectangle to the total volume. Now don't get confused with porosity and void ratio because porosity is volume of voids by total volume where void ratio is so E is equal to volume of voids by volume of solids. Now observe the difference between these two. Porosity has total volume in the denominator whereas void ratio has volume of solids in the denominator. People often get confused with porosity and void ratio formulae. So to remember clearly, porosity is nothing but the expression of how much part of the soil are the voids. That is why porosity is also called percentage voids. And as mentioned, it is expressed in percentage. But in all the equations, we use only the decimal values and not the percentage like 0.67, 0.91 etc okay now coming to the boundaries minimum value of porosity is n greater than 0 and the maximum value is n less than 100 let us see the first expression the minimum value for n is just greater than 0 but not equal to 0 because if n is not equal to 0 then obviously the volume of voids should be equal to 0 which is impossible in case of a real soil so the minimum value might be just greater than zero depending upon the type of soil. Now let's see the extreme boundary. N is less than 100. This case is possible when the soil has the maximum number of voids. That is when volume of voids is almost equal to V. So that means the soil has maximum voids as I said earlier. And out here, people often do get confused and say the maximum value of porosity is 100% which is impossible. Let's see here why. If maximum value of porosity is 100% then that means this expression should be equal to 1. That is volume of voids by total volume should be equal to 1. Which is possible only when volume of voids is equal to total volume. Then that means there is no soil. There are only voids which makes no sense at all. So the maximum value of porosity should be less than 100 and is not equal to 100. Both porosity and void ratio are measures of looseness or denseness of the soil. Now that being said, as the soil becomes more and more denser, both porosity and void ratio decreases. Okay, now let's take a look at the interrelationships between porosity and void ratio. Now observe carefully as I'm going to derive. We know void ratio E is equal to volume of voids by volume of solids and porosity equal to volume of voids by total volume. Let us now reverse this equation and see what happens. 1 by n is equal to total volume by volume of voids. Now let's rewrite this total volume in terms of voids and solids. Volume of voids plus volume of solids by volume of voids. Now let's split this equation apart which in turn equals volume of voids by volume of voids plus volume of solids by volume of voids. Let's strike this out. So let's rewrite this equation as volume of voids by volume of voids is 1 plus does this equation look familiar? Yes it is. Where? Here. Right. So this is nothing but the inverse of void ratio. Now let's rewriting it. We get 1 by e. Now taking the LCM we get 1 plus e by e. So that means 1 by n is equal to 1 plus e by e. n is equal to e by 1 plus e. Now this is a pretty important equation we will be using afterwards. Also by using vice versa we will get E in terms of n. I'll do it for you there also. Now from this equation let us cross multiply. Then we get n plus 
n a equal to a n is equal to e minus n a n is equal to again e into 1 minus n therefore e is equal to n by 1 minus n so this is a pretty important equation an important note here y ratio is mostly preferred to porosity in soil mechanics let's see here why any change in soil mass or weight results in a change in the volume of fluids so by applying that here so any change in mass or weight causes a change in volume of fluids so and it doesn't have any effect on the volume of solids so so by applying this to our y ratio and porosity equations here let's see which equation is the most convenient for us now we do that if there is a change in mass or weight of the soil volume of voids changes that is the numerator in both the cases changes let's look at the denominators for y ratio it is the volume of solids and for porosity is the total volume now this total volume can be rewritten as volume of voids plus volume of solids that means there is a volume of voids in the denominator also for porosity so that means both the numerator and the denominator changes for porosity that makes us a little inconvenient for us to use this in our equation so for our convenience we use only y ratio in most cases so that's pretty much about porosity and we will discuss the other volumetric relationships in our next video thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos